Hi, I'm Nancy with Human Resources Organizational Learning and Talent Development. Do you ever find yourself dwelling on bad news, criticisms, or problems? Well, given the current situation with the coronavirus pandemic and the overwhelming amount of news that's out there related to the latest developments, it can be understandably hard to keep negative and anxious thoughts in check. And if you're finding it difficult to turn off your negative thoughts, you're in good company. And you may be surprised to find out that this is actually something your brain is hardwired to do. According to scientists, the brain pays more attention to and dwells on bad news more than good and criticisms more than compliments. And this is known as the negativity bias. And the theory is that this hard wiring in our brains is designed to keep us safe from dangers and threats, similar to fight or flight syndrome. However, when we constantly focus on negativity, it releases stress hormones that over time attack our immune systems, and that can result in emotional and physical problems. And not only does it affect us personally, but it can also have a powerfully adverse effect on our behavior, our decisions that we make, and our relationships with others. Now on the other hand, positive thinking and emotions bring the opposite effect, a state of calm that floods our bodies with endorphins, which, is, which are the brain's natural painkillers. And it brings about what's known as the relaxation response. And that counteracts stress and it improves emotional and physical well-being. And positive emotions also actually have the ability to broaden our intellectual and creative capacities. That's because inherent in a positive mindset is looking for possibilities in a situation. The good news is that you can overcome your tendency toward negative thinking. The key is that you have to first notice what you're actually focusing on. Negativity starts with our points of view and how we interpret events that happen to us. You've probably heard the old saying that pessimists view the glass as half empty and optimists view the glass as half full. In other words, two people can experience the same event and perceive it very differently. Pessimists, for example, interpret negative events as lasting forever, affecting every aspect of their lives, and they usually are either blaming someone else or themselves for why it happened in the first place. And that point of view results in feelings of anxiety and hopelessness and can really damage relationships when blaming others occurs. So how do optimists interpret negative events? Well, they view them as temporary and isolated from other parts of their lives, and they look for practical reasons or contributing factors instead of people as the cause of the negative event. And that perspective helps them to learn what to do differently and better next time. And that optimistic interpretation can help positive thinkers to set themselves up for a pattern of success in the future. And it also motivates them to higher performance. Fortunately, there are many tips and techniques to help you change to more positive thinking and find calm. I'm going to share a few of those with you here, and then I'm going to share a resource for more tips at the end of the video. One of the most effective ways to view events from a positive perspective is to reframe them. And there's a technique called flip side thinking that works especially well. And the premise is that just like a coin has two sides, every situation also has two ways of looking at it, bad news and good news. So let me give you an example. Let's say I found out I'm being given additional work due to a teammate being out on extended sick leave. Well, I might initially think something negative like, how am I supposed to get all this work done? But then I could immediately flip it over and think, this is a great opportunity for me to shine. And that reframed perspective would spur me to think more creatively and look for possibilities in the situation rather than shut down out of hopelessness. Another really powerful way to change your perspective is to practice the art of gratitude. Over a decade of scientific studies have proven the effect that gratitude has on changing the way our brains are wired. And the way it works is to write down three good things that have happened that you're grateful for that in the last 24 hours, maybe something that made you laugh, an accomplishment at work, maybe a strengthened connection with a family member, just to name a few examples. And do this either daily or at least twice a week. And what that does is it trains your brain to scan your memory for potential positives. And this exercise has proven results in staying power. One study found that people who wrote down three good things that happened to them each day for a week were happier and less depressed after only one month. When you experience or identify a positive mom moment, another recommendation is to really savor it. Replay that moment several times in your mind and focus on the good feelings that are evoked by that memory. Making the effort to do this will overcome that negativity bias that I mentioned earlier. And finally, when you find yourself dwelling on a negative situation, 
take a time out. Find something you really enjoy doing to pull yourself away from your negative thoughts. So try at least one of these tips to take a proactive approach to combat negative thinking. And you can find more tips for generating happier thoughts in the Tips for Finding Calm document that's attached to this video. Thanks so much for watching.